Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our Targaryens of the East campaign. In the previous episode we reacquired one of the two separate kingdoms of Astapor. However, uh, the other one is just... yeah, we're unable to take it. It seems like we'll have to do this the old-fashioned way, you know, getting claims and shit like that, which is annoying because I'm currently busy in getting or trying to get some claims down here in Port Morak. And hopefully he gives me a claim on, you know, the actual or yes no, well not not a city but you know the, the actual county and not the high lordship so yeah because I, I want to make this the capital of a new uh, a new uh, grand lordship down here you know the realm of Lord Paramount in other news though we're currently on an adventure into old Valeria which is fitting I think we're kind of depressed, but that is because we killed our own wife, and for some reason, I guess we regretted that decision. Or maybe it was the voices in his head that told him to do it. <laughs> and then uh, he realized afterwards that maybe this was kind of stupid. Ooh, we have a weak claim on the city of Astapor? Well... Right. Grand city of Astapor. But, oh, yeah, right. Um, mm. But we will never actually be able to press that, will we? Because you're only able to press weak claims when there are underage and uh, women on the throne. And that never happens in merchant republics. So that's sad. So it seems like the game did give me a claim to this place when it fell out of my realm. Sadly though, it didn't really give me a way to get it back. Regencies titles already being contested in a claim or succession war title okay yeah so I'm not sure what we can do here to try and encourage a situation where we can swoop in and kill him I don't know but uh, let's continue our quest a quest to Valeria oh my the ship has set sail again, bound for the Smoking Sea. The sea was uh, created from the shattered remains of Valeria after the doom, and is now filled with volcanoes and smoking stacks of rock. You wouldn't think that by the looks of the TV show, but you know the TV show took some liberties, I guess. Uh, the men are apprehensive. Some say it boils in places, and is haunted by demons. Well, I mean, you know, that's. Fine. I'm a fucking Targaryen, so presumably I can resist fire or whatever. Although I think it's only in the show that that's a thing. I think the whole Ter Daenerys resisting fire was a one-off thing in the books, so... What is this? Grant to the king? No. You can't. Last time I checked, you're not a Valerian. Um, hoarding titles. Well, yeah. Uh, ooh. After many days of sailing, a vicious storm takes hold of the ship. We are buffeted by high winds and rains of hot ash and water. The ship, now out of control, veers toward a massive whirlpool with many men falling overboard to their deaths. When you and the crew finally navigate your way out of the whirlpool, you realize Alios is missing. Oh no. Well, I'll pick him up with my dragon because, yes, here we are. Flying through the rain and ash over the whirlpool, you spot Alios in the water. You urge your dragon dive. You urge your dragon dive and haul him into the back of your dragon with you and return to the ship. He is cold and wet, and was seemingly on the verge of drowning, but is now safely aboard and grateful for the risk you took in rescuing him. No problem, my friend. Happy with quest. I mean, in a way, I kind of wish, like, we could have brought someone a bit more interesting you know like in all seriousness why did we not bring like our fucking wife I mean she has a dragon herself a pretty badass dragon at that so I don't understand why uh, we didn't bring her but I don't know sexism I guess no problem my friend uh, the ship has navigated the smoking sea intact with not too many losses well I mean, didn't like a bunch of people fall overboard? <laughs> and finally makes land on the broken Valerian mainland. The land starts off with 
with sheer cliffs many hundreds of feet high, with seemingly no way to reach the plateau above. These cliffs were n no doubt formed when the peninsula was wrought asunder. Ah, we can just fly up! I, I really like how these events are like custom uh, or have are different because we have a dragon. I think that's really cool. The cliffs are scaled safely. The cliffs have been safely scaled. There were some moments where you almost slipped, but your grip held firm. What do you mean? To the dragon, I guess? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it isn't quite that thought through, but I don't know. Onwards! One of your slaves. Yes, slaves. Oh my, she's attractive and has green hair. You're a concubine. I guess. Or selling her. I don't know. Might be some good cash. And she's stupid. Yeah, maybe... Maybe we don't want to put those uh, those jeans. Yeah, I don't know. A beautiful slave. A beautiful 17-year-old slave. I think should be able to get some cash from her. Time to do business. Yes! 75 gold. Awesome. Brilliant. Oh, some meme lord became Valerian. Yeah, you should probably move on at this point. Go to Demon Road. Keep keep spreading the, the Valerian faith. You're doing a good job. Let's see what happens next on our adventure here. Old Valeria. After uh, after many days of traveling on the arrow on the arrow straight Valerian roads, we have finally arrived in Old Valeria. Um, you walk on in odds walk on in walk on in an odd silence as you survey the ruins of this long dead city of wonderment the fabled topless towers lay ruined and scorched and great rents can be seen in the earth rents that have swallowed majestic palaces and sprawling temples truly this proud city must have been a sight to behold at its peak before the doom to this day no one knows what caused the doom most say it was a natural cataclysm a catastrophic explosion caused by the eruption of all 14 flames. A handful of maesters hold that Valeria used spells to tame the 14 flames for thousands of years, uh, that their hunger for slaves and wealth was as much to sustain their, sustain their spells as to expand their power, and that when at last those spells faltered, the cataclysm became inevitable. The ruin of this great city is truly a tragedy. Indeed. This is our old homeland after all. This is kind of cool. A Targaryen finally returns to Old Valeria after leaving... I don't know. I forget the exact date when the Targaryens left. Maybe we can see... exactly when they came here. Uh, here we go. Einar the Exile. So it was... Yeah, approximately yeah 300 years ago uh, and now we have finally returned to old Valeria after exploring the ruins of the city we have located the place marked on the old man's map this place is one of the grandest in the city cascading many feet into the air and adorned with Valerian sphinxes made of fused black stone Remarkably, it seems mostly intact. You and Alios enter the palace to seek out its treasure. Here we shall find our prize. Ooh. The map leads you into a chamber at the heart of the palace. A door of fused black stone swings shut and traps you in. Four archers stand before you, under which all of them is flame of different colors. Clearly, this is the start of some sort of labyrinth designed to keep unwanted intruders out. Or keep out, yeah, get what I mean. The black fire, uh, the red fire, well the black fire sounds wrong, after all we're the Targaryens, not the black fires. Although the black fires do not exist in this alternate timeline, so... Oh my god, I don't know! Alias, choose for me. What is the best decision here? Let's do black fire. You enter what seems to be a crypt. In the middle of this circular room is a grand tomb adorned with the likeness of a long dead Valerian dragon lord, surrounded by dragons of black stone. Arrayed around this central tomb are four other tombs with statues over them, each with staircases leading beneath them. The beautiful woman, the young warrior, 
Well, we gotta go for the beautiful woman. Young warrior? Nah. This is the gay dude, not us. Uh, beautiful woman! Oh, balls! Fall down a trap door and we become injured! Uh, as you wade through it, cold murky water, as you wade through it, uh, <laughs> the walls start to press on you from both sides. You and Alios frantically search for a way to escape. And at the last moment before you're crushed, uh, you find a narrow hatch. This almost feels like a, uh, a Star Wars reference. Uh, I should really go the I should really go the right way. Ah, oh, fuck off! We had to. Uh, okay, well, it seems like the black fire was cracked. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it, um, well, did we become messed up? No, still just depressed. Uh, old man. Damn it! Let's try that again. <laughs> the young warrior! For fuck's sake! The little girl! There we are. Oh. <laughs> Just have to go had to go through all of the different uh, the wrong paths. After walking through many winding corridors, you enter a chamber lit by dim torches. The ceiling is a large dome adorned with a map of the freehold at its height. Next to four market colonies of Valeria on this map is a door of black Valerian stone. Ooh. One beneath, well, ah, oh, Tyria. Tyria is, Tyria is... Is... Is that not on this peninsula? I forget where Tyria is. Uh, but once again, I don't think it matters. Let's do Dragonstone, it seems fitting. Well, I guess that's not correct. Blackfire. What was it? Little girl? Yeah. Um. I fuck. I don't know. Volantis. Yes. Like, I I should really write this shit down so I don't forget. Well, hopefully we uh, are re getting closer to the end. Uh, you re reach what must be an inner courtyard of the palace. Here's here is. Here is a where must be once a beautiful garden, for there are charred remnants of many trees. There are no obvious exits, although at each corner are dragon skulls. Each, had, each has a depiction of a dragon above it, and each must be bigger than even Balerion the Black. Dread. All the skulls have their jaw wide open. The Black Dragon, the Golden Dragon, the Red Dragon. I don't know, Red Dragon. As my old, uh, my old dragon that died. I have already forgotten it. What is it? Was it Seraxes? Who was the? Who was your dragon? Oh, you can't actually see it. Well, that's bullshit. Can no? Oh, we can't. Okay. Well, never mind that. Well, uh, he was red at least. Well, uh, I love how it throws us all the way back. Blackfire, little girl, Volantis, Silver Dragon. God damn it! And there's a. Oh god. 5% that we dies, and a 50% that Lilla. Wait, who is Lilla? Who is Lilla gone? Ah, oh shit, we die? No, we did not die. Oh. Why would Lilagon die? He's a... I don't even know anymore. Blackfire, Little Girl, Volantis, Black Dragon. Come on! Blackfire, Little Girl, Volantis, Golden Dragon. Can we go? Can we end this? Peoples defeated and enslaved by the Freehold. The Andals, the Kishkari, the Roinar. Roinar. I don't even. How are we still alive? Is our dragon alive? Is he getting fucked by this? No. All right. The Andal. After a couple of tries, the Andal was the correct uh, thing. Uh, through more twisting passage passageways, you go until you reach the last room. Here is one black stone wall before which is a large bottle of mysterious blue liquid. Clearly, it must be drunk. You and Alios drink, and the wall vanishes. 
and four doors appear. You suffer terrible visions of dragons, vibrants, and wolves attacking, however, and all desperately, f however, and desperately flee to a door to escape the terror. Mm. Okay, so this is like a Daenerys type uh, room of horror. Should have brought like a, a warlock, you know? Presumably they could have told us how this works. Fourth door. No. Ah. We are wounded. Oh, we have to do it. Oh my god. No! <laughs> oh no! We, we died! Oh no! Horrible thing. Ah oh, shit. Minus four prestige? Oh, never mind. Piety. Oh, yeah. He deserves to be honored, I guess. Uh, yeah. Invite the bitches. Okay, so now we are our retard son. Realm unrest. Oh, God. That's right. We no, fuck off. None of you people can take my father's waifus. Right, so we now do to have a regent? Why why do you keep making these shitheads regent? Why are we not oh, okay, well that was sad, that was sad. like we were so close to getting that sword. And then we die like that, and now we play as this moron. No, we're not gonna what are you on about? Stop plotting. Do we have children? No. We have a sibling though who's turning out Eh, fine. He's a 12 year old and he's already out making or purchasing slaves. Has been declared incapable. Well... How do we... Stop that? Stop trying to fall in love. We can't. Crap. Well, do we just live now as a, as a meme lord? Wait, what? Empress, what? Oh, okay, so these territories will all be lost. Two, exactly? Our wife will get them. Can I just give them to you already? No? I mean, I can't, I can't hold all of these cities or places. And if I'm bound to lose them anyways, then I don't see the point. Okay, I'm gonna make my half-brother the, um... What? Going against the will of the council? When... Why, why does the council have anything to say? Fuck you, what do you mean, council? Well, who cares? I need loyal vassals. Needs to be approved... Because I'm a... It's a regency! Oh my god! Where's the button to kill myself? I need to die. I can't play as some complete moron. This is bad. You are okay. Yeah, so I married some relatives. Among among them the, the wife of my father. Because obviously that makes sense. Uh sell some slaves. Or not. Okay, okay, okay. So I can't even... Yeah, see, I don't even get to do anything. I'm just sitting here. And now we have a rebellion? The natives are... What? No, 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 no. That is the opposite of shit that's allowed. Can I, can I not even lead? I can't even lead. Oh, fuck, I don't even have a dragon. Where did my father's dragon go? Can't even see it. Can I tame it? Can I even try to tame a dragon? I don't think I can. This is bad. Show me the dragons. Where is he? Sudar. Don't tell me the dragon died as well. Karix. He's not here. Where is my dragon? 
There's not even a good way I can... I can't even see whether or not he is... Or maybe Heartfire... Zuvdar... Was it... Kelly gone? No. No, that's someone else. Crap! Oh, going to Valeria was a mistake. All right, looks like these morons just changed their mind and I can now give out the kingdom. I can also give it to this guy though. He likes me more actually. Uh, he has a family, so he would be able to put the... He would be able to keep the line going, but he has no real strength on his own. Not that this kid has either. Uh, so I don't know, I guess this guy will get it. This is a random ball dude. Sure. Oh. The funeral, and so it is done, yes. Grant the Kingdom of Gis. And honestly, if they fight over it, then that's fine. Alright, well, that's another loyal vassal. Good, good, good. Spymaster, let's get some loyalty going. That's really all that matters at this point. Oversee Realm. Yeah, we just need to get through this, it seems. Survive! <laughs> so, so I'm executing the rebel leader. And then there's an actual option to eat him. <laughs> I guess it's because we're crazy, right? That's hilarious. I, I feel like I can't justify that though. Uh, my everyone kind of... Well, a lot of people don't like me, so we, I'm not taking any risks. Ooh, Clay Masterpore. Fuck yeah, we can do that. That'll distract people, hopefully. So we can claim it on behalf of this guy? Yeah, that makes sense, actually, although that will mess up my borders. Like, I don't want him... I, want, I don't want this guy to have Astapor. Shouldn't you have a claim on Astapor? Shouldn't, like, everyone and their mom have a claim on Astapor? I guess this guy only has a weak claim, that's bad. Can you not go get, get a claim on Astapor? No? Well, poop. Not sure what to do, then. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's an excuse to... Wait, do we have a claim on Astapor? No, we don't have a claim on Jack Shit. Except for this place. I don't know, let's, let's chill. Let's not do something stupid while we are in such a nasty position. I need some, like, children or whatever. What is this? Conversion of Kimberine. Alright. Peasant's Revolt? Oh Jesus, that is a big Peasant Revolt. So, ah! This place converted to Valerian. Ah, look at that! Slowly but surely. Yeah, look at this. This place as well has gone Valerian. Slowly, we're getting some conversions going here. Slowly, we are stabilizing the realm. And the rebellion is done. And this guy is totally just going to die. Going against the Wizard of the Council. Okay, but I can't execute him. That people will agree with. Uh, have him beheaded. I will not tolerate such scum in my lands. Ah, I hate this regency. Stupid piece of memes. He's, he's like, he's giving away my lands and like, why? Stop it. And what I act like the lands that I actually want to give away, I'm not allowed to give away. Like, take these lands. Also, okay, you, okay, you accept that, but why not this guy? This guy has more money, and it's, it's a du jour part of his realm. Well, fine. This guy, then. You you get this. If you can't handle it, then I'll be angry, but not much I can do. Presumably he can ask me for help if the colony struggles a bit. So now we're only two over our limit. And there's this little Targaryen laddie. So I'm thinking we can give him... That's the thing, though. I, I fear that if I... If I give him too much land here, he'll form a high lordship, and I cannot have that. So what I'll have to do... Yeah, I'll give you the title. 
So you get the... The Lordship of the Dragon's Path. Actually, do I want to keep the Dragon's Pass? It is a trade route, actually. Although it is a shittier territory than the Black Cliffs, but... Well, I do like... <laughs> Although, mm, no, giving away the Black Cliffs if, is dangerous, because he might use that to create this High Lordship. Although I, th I think he, yeah, don't you need a 51%? Yeah, 51%. And there's only three Regents in Tolos, or two, I mean. So he needs both in order to create it. So giving it, giving it away is actually fine. Really, giving anyone these territories here is dangerous. So I guess you get the Black Cliffs. I've held that for quite some time, so it's kind of a shame that this title will have to get out, go out of my family. Or I guess it stays in the family. He's, I mean, this guy's still a Targaryen. He's even a, he's a fa you know, a fellow mad, incapable, dull idiot, just like me. Oh, I just noticed someone broke up the the Dothraki uh, people, I guess, and they are now completely disunited. Lord Paramount, who now of, of Gis? Uh, okay, right, right. Wait, what? After l listening to the advice, okay, right. I presume that I assume that was a rebellion thing. Okay. Oh God, our su our, our ear is a blonde little shit. Oh, that's annoying. But he's a dragon rider, though. That's good. See, now I kind of just want to go die. Because, um... I'm sick of being incapable. I, I, like, I, I'm googling it, and it says, like, that there will be, like, this random event that allows me to escape it, but that, that sometimes never happens, and as a result, you just sort of... You really just sort of stuck for like as long as you live basically. Hey, finally I'm able to appoint a court physician at least. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to do. Hey, that's cool! We received Dark Sister. Somehow. So some random bastard held it, but he died from food poisoning I guess. Fire and blood. And we now have Dark Sister again. Sadly though, the head of a House Targaryen will usually inherit it, so I don't think we get to pass it down to our heir, but you know, we get to keep it for a while. Go into hiding. Ooh! Is someone trying to kill me? Because if they are, I oh yes! Someone is trying to kill me. Stop! S stop auto stopping plotting. Nah! End plot! No, I take it back. I want you to kill me. I'm, I'm done being. I don't want to be this random cunt. Stop it. Ah, damn it. Well, I would. I like. I, it was a mistake. Like, tr try to do it again. Yeah, I need to. I need to go away from auto stopping plots. I'm also hoping that ah, oh, there, there was this really nice disease here, but it never reached our capital, so sadly we can never catch it. And like because we are incapable, we cannot um, we can't actually uh, like go into armies. Like one thing I am thinking is like we could maybe travel down to here and to the land of the Red Death and just see if we can catch it and get ourselves killed. Um, but uh, I am not sure. But yeah, we just we just can't do it. Like I'm, if I raise an army, I can't put myself into command. So simply is not possible. <laughs> Hold on, what? Lord Protector of the Iron. Th Wait, did the did the Starks just overthrow the Targaryens? And the air is some random white man? Okay. What? No! No, that's totally not cool. 
The Targaryen still exists down here for some reason. But that seems to be it. Damn. And he doesn't even have a proper claim on the iron. No, okay, no, he does have a, a weak claim, but... And the poor guy has cancer even. Oh, God. A bold move indeed. Well, there you are then. We are now the the last Targaryen rulers of a of an iron throne. Oh, cool! So, because we are a Targaryen, we gain a claim on the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, right. Thing is, I don't, I don't necessarily want to be the. Um, Wait, Valid Castle's Belly? Oh, is it a weak claim? Yeah. Strong- wait, no, it says strong claim. So why can't I- why can't I declare for the Iron Throne? Okay, I can. Claim the Iron Throne. Would that even be doable? Yeah, he has barely any real troops to speak of. No domain forces. Once again though, I just- I- I don't really want to be the King of the Iron Throne. That's not what this campaign is about. But I want the Targaryens to actually rule the Iron Throne, you know? So... I don't know what to do here. I guess maybe we'll have to try and reclaim it down the line. Right now, I don't... think we're in too good of a position to do stuff like that. After all, we're incapable and all that. Is that why I got Dark Sister? Because I'm now technically the head of the house? Because the the other Targaryens just sort of got kicked out of the Iron Throne? Did the vassals approve of this? No, he, his vassals did not like him. A lector in the Seven... Okay, so some weird shit is going on here. The Seven Kingdom is now Agnatic Cognatic Elective? I guess it's because this, yeah, this whole Lord Protector thing. This is not a, he's not a king, is he? He's just some random meme lord. Good for her. My kinswoman has a dragon. Oh, hatched a dragon. Well, still. They are dragons though, aren't they? Okay, so that's the turn of events. My ear has proclaimed himself regent. Okay. What's happening to the Iron Throne, by the way? Why is the symbol... Who the fuck are you? Wait, you're the hus... Oh... Yeah, I think I got a pop-up previous... But hold on. But this is unacceptable. So your ear is... Some random ass Targaryen girl? But you're the... Uh, you're the heir to Lazar. Wait. So somehow Lazar is going to be inherited by the Iron Throne? Oh, this is weird. Yeah, I guess this girl is a Targaryen. She's just a bastard, and that's why she has this weird dynasty. That's presumably what happened here. <gasps> and she's Valerian! Okay. So she is part of my family tree then. Yeah, I got a pop-up about this girl previously. She's like an adventurer. That's not what I want to see. I want to see... Right. House... Da, da, da. So you're the... You are... You're my aunt. So you're one of the bastard daughters of my grandfather. Right. Well, that's a turn of event. One of the, she's presumably the offspring of some random slave then. No, it says here her mother was... A, I don't even know. Family relationships always get a bit messy, don't they? In, in the Targaryen land. Why is the Vale independent? I guess it's just one of those temporary things. But yeah, hopefully that works out. I have the Sept... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's awesome! So she she just made herself, she just made herself queen, and then she legitimized herself. I love it. 
That's so cool though! We now have a actual Valerian lady as the queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I assume her vassals did not appreciate that. No, the Archon of the North likes it. I assume that's because he gave her, yeah, granted kingdom. Because she took the throne from the Lord Protector. Uh, wait, so are the Starks out of power now or is he a Stark? Starks, where are you? King's Cross, White Fort, White Arbor. What? The Manderleys? Ah, I swear to God. <laughs> Westeros is such a mess. So the Manderleys have uh, claimed the north. The former southern, you know, the Manderleys came from the Mander. I think, is this, is that this river? I don't know. Somewhere from the Reach anyways. And they've now claimed the north. But not only that, they are beyond the, beyond the wall old gods. Which is super weird because the Manderleys are famed for being the only faith of the seven people in the north. Well, the only major house anyways. I think so anyways. Um, also, this place is the Drowned God? Why, why is an Ironborn over here? I don't know. Yeah, I like the, the majority of the Great Houses have fallen now, if not all of them. Yeah, the Veil has fallen to the Weidman dynasty. The House Brax has taken the Westerlands and the Trident. Dorne has gone to House Oboine. And very early on, Toyn took over the Stormlands. And now the Starks have lost the North. All the Great Houses have fallen. Even, yeah, we have already seen how the Harlos took uh, the Iron Islands. So yeah, all the, all the Great Houses of Westeros have fallen. That didn't take long. Wow. However, temporarily the Targaryens were kicked out, but it looks like... Uh, Looks like they have been able to reclaim the throne, but it'll be interesting to see whether or not she will be able to keep the throne. Also, she's not High Valerian! Really? I guess she stopped being a High Valerian. Uh, what is this? Has been a Leela and Able servant, having successfully completed Minitad. Uh, right, my regent would reward himself. No. No, 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 no. Can I, can I not, like, murder him or something? Kick him out of his position? Sure, he would reward himself, I guess. Die! Plot to kill. Tried to call for a faceless man earlier. No, my wife! My useless wife who refuses to give me children. Can I just die? Regulated inheritance? What are you people doing? So what did you just approve? Regulated inheritance law. I mean, if it's this thing, then we're good, right? But... I don't even know. Oh, can someone kill me? There's a million plots here. Surely one of them must be to... Yes, here we are. Kill the emperor. Can I join my own plot? Can we just get this over with? I am sick of being alive. Just end it. Is there plague? Ah, once again the bloody flux is raging about in all the provinces. Well, except mine of course. Mine is invulnerable. I mean I have actually built a refuge here though, so... But of course normally I would want to defend myself, but now... Not so much. Right, I'm going to hire a Master of Whispers who hates me in the hopes that, and I'm going to make them totally idle in the hopes that they will join the plot to end my life. What is this? Your Imperial Majesty, we have word from blah, 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 that the Jane Greed so he's going to in launch an invasion of a foreign realm, is that so? Yeah, he better not molest my lands. You haven't even united YT. What, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Why, why are you talking about invading a foreign land? Shouldn't you focus on your homeland first? Ah, okay, so the, the, spy, the spy master actually did join. Okay, good. 
I am, I am being clever. <laughs> Appointing people who I am fully aware will want to kill me. Let's see, how can we speed this along? I need more people who hate me in the council. Court, yes, the court physician. Uh, to be fair, she already hates me. Hate me more! Um, insult. Send insult. Really? I, <laughs> I, I need approval from the council to insult my my court physician. This is this is a totalitarian regime right here. This is awful. All right then. Um, the Archon. Well, I can't can't dismiss my own regent. I guess. Chief General, oh, you're too good to kick out. Storm Singer, then. Anyone who no, no one hates me. What is it with you people and not hating me? Uh, fuck it, Lord Treasure. Uh, I don't know this guy. Surely he dislikes me. Although he might actually be already be in in the plot. Yeah, he's already in the plot. But presumably, I gave him some more plot power. Wait, what happened? Wait, that was not my ear. No, 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 that was not my ear. My ear is the little blonde shit. And now we wait then, see if we can get ourselves killed. <laughs> it has been a long day, and it is with some relief that you retreat to your bedchamber for the night. Your bed is warm, and just as you're about to drift into sleep, you hear a strange hissing sound. Our carpenter will need to look into this bed tomorrow. Oh no! A snake! Who would have thought? Oh, what a shame. Very well then. Uh, we have a new ear. Uh, fuck my half. Well, actually, he, my half brother was kind of. He was a proper man. Yeah, he deserves to be honored. Invite the realm or wherever. Right, but now we are another. Oh my god. What? Okay, so she is High Valerian, but like. There's like not a single bit of Valerian features. Who are these random women, by the way? Well, I guess they are technically high Valerians, so I guess we're fine there. All right, but now we need to stop this plotting, guys. Also, what do the vassals think of this awkward little power? T oh, my, okay, they hate me. Although, oh, no, no, not courts, vassals. Yeah, obviously Karth dislikes me, but Yunkai and oh Jesus, a lot of these other people who really shouldn't should be loyal at this point also dislike me. Yeah, it really looks like we're in the like there's a civil war in the making here. I swear to God, this fucking game. We can marry our mom. No, that's where I, that's that's where I think we have gone too far. Let's marry our fucking sister instead, or half sister. Not that bad, you know. Totally reasonable. Yes, there we are. Sacred union. Let's go. Right, so I divorced my first wife, which is why I cannot take a, another one, and I've done some reorganization. We now have a new Lord Paramount of Gis. Uh, yeah, Lazar, I've been trying to give out some gift to, gifts and shit to stabilize the realm. I gave the Lord of Marine, uh, who is in fact a Targaryen. I gave him a bunch of land, although he's probably going to die, isn't he? Shit. Now I regret not giving this stuff to his son. Although I'm not sure how that would have worked out, but still, I don't know. He likes me nonetheless, so have, have some gift. Like me even more. We have a lot of money, so I think our position is relatively secure. Uh, but I honestly, I, I I wouldn't necessarily mind a revolt right now. I kind of wish there was like a way I could trigger this because I want to clean up, if you will, a lot of this, a lot of these conquests down here. Uh, also, we do have dragon conquest against Astapor now, which is nice. Uh, not sure if you would want to do that immediately, or if we would want to chill a bit. But you know, anyways, what's our improved combat? Fuck you, children. I need a son. I just divorced one of my wives who were bearing a child because she had <laughs> because she had the wrong hair color, and she also didn't have um, um, 
What am I trying to say? Um, I, I don't know. I don't remember. There was something wrong with her anyways. Um, but yeah. I also shaved our beard and our hair, of course. We do have the purple eyes of the Targaryens. So we gotta make sure to highlight our proper features. We did keep Dark Sister, which I think is pretty cool. Um, it did not revert to the throne. Or the Iron Throne, that is. So... Let's hope that it stays in our family. I feel like that would be appropriate. If these guys could have the Blackfire Sword. Oh, she doesn't. Where's the Blackfire Sword? Do you have, do you have it? Who the... Did we... Did someone lose the Blackfire Sword? Rhaegar. Rhaegar Targaryen wields, wields Blackfire. Right. So... I don't know. I guess it's still in the family. Regardless though, I think it's about time to end the episode here. So thanks so much for watching this episode. And until next time, bye.